the legend at ringside, Muhammad Ali, put it, who will dare to be great? Who will be bolder? And who will be tougher? Both fighters have promised knockouts. Both fighters have promised aggression. Mosley was quoted on the cover of a boxing magazine saying, it'll be like the first round of Hagler Hearns. And Mosley comes out pounding away with a straight right hand. Good right hand by Mosley. Slinging it over the top. Nilo Oya trying to get the jab going. Gets, gets rocked by a jab. Hearing Oscar to try to stiffen him with his power. Now Mosley backs up and then comes straight forward again. Rips Oscar with the left hook. That's the speed of foot and hand embodied in one move as he moved away from De La Hoya and jumped in with the left hook. Mosley leads with the right hand and then spins away. Delahoya crosses, sets up a right to left to the body. Much better second round for Delahoya than the first. He gets the left hook into the pit of Mosley's stomach one more time. Delahoya is so conscious of wanting to be offensive with the left hook that he can land his right hand lead, which has been effective for him so far. Momentarily buckled Delahoya with the right hand, but Delahoya appears to be all right. The Delahoya supporters, those who believe Oscar is going to win this fight, most of them don't think Shane Mosley has the strength to hurt Oscar Delahoya. Mosley one punch at a time. Hard right hand by Mosley. Deloria comes back with a left hook. Straight right hand by Deloria. Of course, it's not just fighter against fighter here. Mosley's are like a monkey. Sits there and watches everything and then takes a swing at whatever he sees. Shane is moving to his right now, as if to say, Oscar, make the post some rights. I expected more hand speed and fluidity from Mosley. I expected more jabbing from Delahoya. It's becoming more of a ball than I think anybody would have expected at this point. Big right hand for Delahoya. Delahoya doesn't want to start slinging right hands. That was a story about him wrapping tape around his hands early on in the ring. That's where he can get tough. One, two, three, but make it the last punch be the right hand. Hard right uppercut by Mosley landed on the point of Deloia's chin. Oscar fires a right hand of his own. But it's all in retaliation. It's Mosley who's initiating the contact. He's been true to his word so far in this fight. Absolutely. And you can see that Mosley, with his speed and fluidity, can succeed some when he gets inside. But he has to go into the jaws of the lion to do it. He has to accept the jeopardy of De La Hoya's left hook. No better said, you accepted this challenge, you've got to fight. He's not going to give it to you. you just got to go out there and get it. You're not going to outbox him, you're going to have to fight him. And busts Oscar with the right hand. Oscar steps through it again and keeps coming. after a Delaware left to the pit of the stomach. You see when Mosley leaps in with any shot, he seems never to miss. Shane lands a jab, Oscar comes back with a three punch combination. Right hand lands for Mosley. And he gets out of the way, which is very important. You hit him, you gotta move out of the way because he's gonna hit you back. This time he took the left hook in return for the right. Another left hook for Deloy. Mosley steps in with his own left. Brilliant toe-to-toe -to -toe action in the middle of the ring in round nine. Who's gonna be bolder? Whenever he jumps in, he does well. I think they both dared to be great. and combination punching, carrying the day in round nine. Crowd rises to support both fighters. Then Oya steps in again. They stay busy, busy, busy with the jab as Del Oya steps in his house at the bottom.
everybody. And look around says, watch the rabbit punches. Ten seconds to go in the round. In a moment, Shane Mosley is going to be taking the lead on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Now there are three rounds to go. And the drama thickens in single set. Shane's jab is quicker. Aloya misses with the left hook. Mosley steps back in with the jab and lands. Another round, which could have gone to the challenge of Shane Mosley. Be careful, but you need this round. But I'm not really sure what Alcazar meant to commit. Well, but I think at the end he was right. You need this round. It was a tremendous battle between the two young men who've known each other for 20 years. So who won? Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Staples Center, Los Angeles, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. Lou Filippo scores the bout, 116-112. He has it for Mosley. Marty Salmon scores it, 115 to 113. He has it for De La Hoya. Pat Russell scores it, 115 to 113 for the winner by split decision. And new welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane 